This is Chris Orser Landscaping, um, planting job we just finished up here. Um, as a focal point to this house is uh, a nice big waterfall. And there's actually a, a main road 413 uh, right behind this waterfall. And all this splashing water uh, dripping down into the, uh, the reservoir just helps to block out a lot of that sound. Nice uh, specimen plant here, Japanese uh, cutleaf maple. So when that fills in, it'll fill in this, this spot here. And just various plantings up top to give the, uh, the client something to look at uh, all, through all, all the four seasons. We have uh, spring blooming phlox here, which is that white flower. There's things coming up, uh, such as Coreopsis right here, that'll bloom in the summertime. Uh, mixed in with evergreen plants, this is a, uh, a globe spruce. Uh, we have the, the spruces uh, just kind of staggered up the hillside. Uh, a nice um, weeping atlas cedar on top, so his acros will kind of cascade over the water. Um, some asters here to give it fall color, so in the fall, when a lot of things are dying back, these asters will, will come into bloom. Um, Mandina, this is a heavenly bamboo, which is a great uh, texture plant and the, the foliage, the new foliage is a little bit red, uh, the older foliage is green, uh, just giving it added uh, interest, uh, kind of a, a tropical feel almost. We added some, uh, some grasses here, this is blue fescue, which just lends itself nicely to this, uh, this setting uh, amongst all these boulders here. Nice set of boulder steps leading up to the top of the waterfall, which leads into a stream up top here. I have uh, included rhododendrons, which are in bloom now, look beautiful. Um, as we go across the stream bed here, we have some more plantings on top, some more nandina. Uh, these plants here are actually winter berries, a type of holly which doesn't have the, uh, the spiny leaves like a lot of hollies do, and they are deciduous. But when they do lose their leaves, they're, the plant is left with all these bright red berries uh, all over the plant in the wintertime. So again, uh, winter interest there. How we always like to design is four seasons of interest to give you color and something else going on in the landscape through spring, summer, fall, and winter. Um, and we just included it on the top of the hillside here a lot of rhododendrons, uh, some more um, heavily bamboo, uh, a couple of azaleas on the ends. But you can see over the overall look is uh, just a just a nice look for this for this setting um, to incorporate a a variety of plants that do um, have have different characteristics throughout the season. This is. A type of ornamental grass that doesn't get unruly um, or necessarily big or, or large so you don't have to come out here to divide it. One of the goals of Chris Orser landscaping is to decrease the maintenance so you actually don't have to be a slave to your landscape, you can actually enjoy it. Um, and the planting arrangement here set up is one that would allow you to do that. This is a different type of phlox here. It doesn't have the white flowers but it kind of has that pinkish uh, hue to it, which is nice. Another added interest there. And on the other side, we kind of tried to mirror what we did on the waterfall. Nice specimen plant again, the um, uh, the cut leaf Japanese maple, and uh, interspersed with just ornamental grasses. Uh, asters again, fall color. Uh, blue fescue grass, some mandina, um, some more globe spruces just to blend both these areas in together. So uh, if you like a design or like a consultation with one of our professionals, uh, Chris Horser Landscape, you can get a hold of us at 215-249-1236 uh, or, or you can visit us on the website www.orserlandscaping.com. That's O-R-S-E-R landscaping.com.